Welcome back to Enigma Garage, everybody. Today, we're going to paint an engine bay. So we're gonna have to clean it with purple power, and we'll sand it with a red scotch bright pad and Comet, just like Cam's video, but we didn't get to sanding it, we just cleaned it. So that's what's gonna happen here. Just a few things. I cut off this bracket, that bracket, ABS bracket, and then this bracket over here. Everything is out of the engine bay. Wiring harness, I'm gonna use some aluminum foil. Wrap that up. I'm gonna tape the AC and heater core up over here. Probably just gonna let the paint mist down here. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it, but we're gonna get the engine bay looking just like the rest of the car and the nice pretty red it is, which looks a lot better in the door jam than the outside of the car. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. So that's the goal. Got a whole bunch of paint over here. Got enough to do the whole car, engine bay, jams, everything. Got some cheaper clear. It's gonna go up underneath the hood. Doesn't have to be the good stuff. Got the good stuff down there for the outside of the car. And over here, I'm gonna have to cover all this up. There's the transmission. All of those pieces, except for back down in the corner. Got the case cleaned out. Got a brand new Circle D 3200 stall converter. Should be good to 550 is what they said. Got it for a deal, 200 bucks. Not gonna complain. So that puts me at $600 on the whole transmission. Aftermarket parts and all. I'm just missing a few, I believe, but it's about ready to start cleaning. Got a few special tools over here. I built that one for the clutch basket. This is for the pump. That's the size of the Teflon rings and a couple other basket tools here. All right, let's get to the engine bay. First step purple power and just wiping it down. perfectly clean but that's where the comet and the scuffing is going to come into play time to sand it all right a little demo here for the basic principle of scuffing take a little bit of comet we're going to sprinkle that all over the engine bay i'm just going to show you right here so
See, we got some red on here. That means it's sanding. I'll wipe it off. And that, getting in close. Now that is sanded. It's not shiny like over here, it gets dull. So that with a little bit of wax and grease remover will be ready to paint. Gotta do the whole thing and then we gotta clean it one last time. Here we go. It is completely sanded. A lot of paint came off. The factory barely puts anything in there at all. So next step is a wipe down with Prepsol or waxing grease remover. I'll show you guys that. We got that surface cleaner right there and there's another brand right there either one's fine but definitely need to use that if there's any grease or anything left over that needs to be taken off now because if you start spraying and it's not gone it's gonna fish eye and look real bad on you so one last wipe down and she's ready for masking and paint Here's the moment you've been waiting for, masked. Got everything taped up. Make sure to do on the back side of some of these frame holes so you don't get a whole bunch of dirt and crud thrown into it when you're spraying, if you decide to do it. A trick I learned a long time ago, aluminum foil. Make sure to get that closed up so that way it doesn't go underneath there. Got the whole cover, car covered. Make sure to tape up any threads. A lot of paint's gonna be falling down right there. And I got my brake lines, gas lines, I'm gonna switch out with some new ones. So, next video is gonna be spraying. Alright guys, so I've already sprayed over here a little bit to make sure everything is fine with the paint and the prep works, no fish eyes. So I'm just going to give a little demo of me spraying right here, showing you how you can go about it. So, 
Watch. So there you go, I gotta do that to the whole bay. I don't want any overspray in the camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it away. I'll bring it back whenever I'm done. Here we are. I got one more coat of paint to do. And then let it flash off. Then it'll be time for clear. It's gonna look a lot better with that fresh painted motor in there now. Yeah. So here's two coats of paint. The first coat, I pretty much went over all the areas that were bare steel or to the E coat that I primed over. And the second coat is where I pretty much went over everything evenly to make sure there's no striping going on and get a nice uniform coat. Two coats of clear coming in next. All right, I got a little ahead of myself. I'm sorry, but I started putting it together. It's done. Came out really nice. I'm happy with it. So now that that's done, the next video, it's got to be the transmission because I got to put that on the motor and put it in the car and make some progress. We'll catch y'all next time.